and let us look at the real program so this is going to be the program let me explain you step by step and things which I have added inside double uh, pound pound sign so whatever you call it so this is these are all it's going to be something new right I gave an explanation on group right in this uh, PDF anyway never mind let's look at all the code leaving the contents inside this pound symbols and then later let me give you an explanation on that so first of all hey set ns create a new object for the simulator then I'm a, I'm just asking uh, I'm just using the second mode to enable multicast and then I'm hey I need to open and file output.nom and then I'm going to set it file handler f and then I'm just saying hey ns nam trace all to the file handler f and then I'm going to create an end procedure so this is, this is going to be just the same except in the previous videos so and I'm creating a five nodes and I'm creating a link between 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 and 4 to and so I'm just creating a link between all the nodes so it, it looks like a round so I'm just simulating a ring network ring topology and I'm creating a new UDP agent and I'm going to create and I'm going to name this object as UDP so that I can refer it using ampersand UDP I'm just I'm going to attach it to n0 so n0 is going to be the single sender and n1 n2 n3 n4 is going to be the group of receivers so we are going to visually see how things are going to work all right so I'm going to set a new CBR application this is nothing but constant bit rate and I'm going to attach it hey CBR attach it attach it to UDP all right and now hey so this is going to be something new let me give it let me talk about it in the second pass so hey ns at 0 0.4 start the cbr so this this line is quite similar to us and then hey ns at 3 call the n n program that is the n procedure hey ns run finally we are just asking network simulator to show us our simulation so let me go again and talk about the statements inside the pound symbols so now we are just as I told you we need a multicast address so we are just enabling the multicast and as I'm just gonna use multicast and then here I'm just creating a multicast address set group group is going to be the address object so I want to create an address saying node allocate address so you just need to type the same thing since it's a case sensitive one and now I'm just gonna say hey UDP since I'm going to send the message to a group of senders I need to say hey UDP I'm calling the UDP object and I'm referring the UDP object which I've created right in this sentence Hey, saying hey UDP set your argument destination address to the group address so that we're not just picking up a single receiver here we're just directing it to a group of receivers so this group address is going to have a group of all the nodes which is connected all right so I'm set and I'm going to set the destination code to zero so again this UDP object has a argument or variable called destination address remember you should type just the same words case sensitive and we have no other option we need to learn so we have no other option you're just going to remember all these things right so again let's come to this one so now Normally we used to create an agent, we, we used to attach the application to it and then we create a sync and then we connect it. So here it's going to be totally different. So now this CBR constant bit, bit rate should not be confused. So I'm just saying 
don't behave randomly all right hey CBR, don't behave randomly don't panic man it's just a regular program and it's gonna work fine hey CBR, set random underscore as false and then as I told you I'm gonna call in the bst.tcl which is going to be inside the network simulator program library bsttcl set your argument this array rp underscore to and index it to the group address and then add the source so this is going to be our one single source as i told you this multicast is going to have a single source so this multicast is going to have a single source and a multiple receiver so n0 is going to be that single source and I'm just saying, hey, NS, just assign the multicast routing. What did I do, man? Multicast routing protocol to the BST.TCL. Right? So it's not, it's going to be totally different. So here we are just creating a new instance of this, that class, and this is going to be a TCL file. It's this TCL file is going to have a group of scripts so if you don't want to use this you need to really learn a, about 200 lines which is which is in that file so we don't we don't want more stuffs to remember so it's just better to remember BST okay and then here I'm just so as I told you we need to visually see the monitor so I'm saying set monitor as new agent loss monitor. Alright. And then hey NS at 0 0.5. Hey N1. And I'm referring the node here. Join to the group group. And I'm going to pass in the receiver so that I can visually see when this N1 joins. So when I run this program you can see that. So and at each interval I'm going to add N2, N3 and N4. Alright. And when I run this program, hey NS, it's going to be a test to c.tcl. It should produce me the output. So we got our program, and when I run this program, spam a package, man. So it's going to be. So one request for a connection and the node 0 which is going to be the single sender sends the message, sends its message to 1. So it's going to be a UDP connection. It's not going to worry about whether the node 1 received all the packets or not. So here 2 joins the group and then it sends the message to 0 through 1 and then it's receiving all the data packets. So that's going to be a one single sender and a multiple receiver. And now we're going to see three, which is going to add up to this group, group of receivers. So here it's going to choose node zero through the four. So why didn't you three, the node three choose this way? So here it's having two nodes. So it's going to be, it's, it has to travel long distance to go to node 0. So it just chose 4. Hey 4, just help me out passing this 0 message. So that it's an, it's. It, the node 3 sent the message to node 4. And then the node 4 forwarded the message to node 0. And what happened is, it the node 0 which is going to be our single source sent all the message to node 4 and then this node 4 which act which which is just going to redirect all the messages to node 3 right so when I just run this program now you're going to add this node 4 so even this node 4 is going to act as a receiver so it sends a message and node now node 0 sends packet to even node 4 so since this connection is 1 Mbps and all of the connections are going to be a bit slow, 
it's gonna have a packet loss all right so this is about this is all about multicast and have a great time with TCL so it's a good program to learn network simulation so do not miss the next video the next video I'll be telling you about the important things where to go for when you get a program I'll be introducing you to a tool which generates TCL programs thank you